Let me let me take a sip of my drink. It's water. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today is Friday. Friday. Last time I made a video was a couple days ago, and I made a video about Instagram business accounts. Today, I wanted to kind of follow that up with some more business because I, I didn't feel like we learned anything about business last week. And I've heard about this guy before, Gary V. Gary V. Gary Vandervatova. Gary seems to be like a good business boy. According to his videos that have a lot of likes, he's a great business boy. And everyone knows the saying, lots of likes equals business boy good at business. I don't know much about Gary. From what I've gathered, he seems to be a business boy. What does that mean, Michael? I have no idea, because I don't know what he does. I know he goes to conventions and talks about being a business boy. He just talks about business and like marketing and stuff. You know, he goes to garage sales, which is actually what I want to take a deep dive in today, because I found his YouTube channel pretty easily. I typed in Gary V. Wasn't that hard. He's got this series that it seems to be, it's called Trash Talk, and it says, when garage sailing got competitive and cops got involved. So let's let's see what Gary has to tell us about garage sailing. Sailing the garage. Oh, there's a cop. Put the camera down. Damn it. Here's how I turned $130 to the potential $1,900 on one day of garage sailing. But more importantly, how you can too. Wow. Come on. Move along. It seems Gary's off to a hot start, okay? The video intros immediately, we're getting pulled over by a cop. He tells you that he can, he's gonna make $130 turn into $1,900. Now listen, I know mathematician, but that's a lot of, that seems like a lot of dollars gained. How's Gary gonna do it? How's he gonna do it? He and he said, you can too. That means me. That means I can do this too. So let's see what he's got for me, all right? Why is there traffic on fucking Saturday morning? Garage sale? No, there's not enough people hungry enough to go garage sale. They're not hungry enough. Yeah, yeah. Why was he like pissed off that there was traffic? Yeah, people go on the roads, dude. It's just like a thing that happens. I like how the kid holding the camera just asked him if the reason there's traffic is garage sales. And then Gary's like, no, they're not hungry enough. They're not hungry like me. They're not hungry for garage sales like I am. Is that like a, is that like a term? Hungry for garage sales? They're probably, I don't know, hungry for breakfast. Some people work on Saturdays. That's like a weird... It's a weird thing to be like, yeah, they're not garage sailing like I am. I'm a garage sale boy. A, a GSB, okay? <laughs> how do they find us? <laughs> what do you mean, how did they find us? You pulled up at their garage sale. That's how your fan found you. You showed up at their garage sale. Not like they're like stalking you or anything. You just pulled up and you walked up their driveway and then they were like, oh, Gary V, the garage sale guy. What's up, dude? It's not like they're, you, you don't have like the paparazzi following you around. You're a garage sale boy, okay? How much is this little thing? Three bucks. Oh, how about that Lego thing? This one I was gonna do for 10. This is Let me take a look at it. Would you do 10 for these two? Yeah, I'll do that. All right, thank you so thank much. You, have a, good have day. a great day. Bye, guys. We struck quick. Look at that, all day long. 45, 50 bucks on some real shit. Those two things is like what some people spend six hours at retail making minimum wage on. This is real out here. I mean, yeah, sure, but you're talking about like the worst job. Six hours? Six hours to make 45 bucks is probably the worst job you can get. And what you're telling me you would rather do is you would rather go on Google, look up garage sales in your area, get in your car, spend gas money going to said place. The gas prices are high right now, Gary V. It's not as cheap as it sounds. You drive around to these garage sales and then maybe, just maybe, you find a Lego boat that goes for potentially $45 on eBay. That doesn't seem very stable. I'm not gonna quit my job and start going to garage sales. That, that might even take me six hours to find the garage sale that's gonna have that $45 boat. It's not as good as he's making it seem. Also, yeah.
1968. How much is this? Ten dollars. There was a mix of two things there. Yeah, so the houses are 20 bucks a piece. It's 40 bucks for 10 bucks there. See? I mean, I'm not gonna take it, but 10 bucks is 40 bucks. Easy. Thank you. Have a great day. Why would you not turn 10 bucks into 40 bucks? What? What are the rules here? What are What are the rules? Because a second ago he was like. Man, we gotta, we gotta make money. We gotta take this ten bucks and make it one hundred dollars. But now he's like, that ten bucks could be forty bucks, but I'm not gonna take it. Why? Maybe you make forty bucks. It's gonna pay for your gas. You're on garage sale number six, Gary. Can we just take a second to to note, Gary's on garage sale number six. Gary, you've spent a lot of gas money. You've been driving around. You're probably driving a lot. That doesn't seem cost effective, Gary. This is so cool. How much is this, my friend? My father and I built that in uh, the 70s. I wanted to get like $100 for it. Let me give it some thought, thank you. I wanna talk. Look, this is why I do trash talk. I'm not gonna buy everything because I'm gonna buy the shit that I care about, but I promise you, I would've destroyed that man's face and got it for $50. I would've then been able to easily put that on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Instagram, and probably get 300 to 500 bucks. This is the thing that I keep thinking about. I don't have money. You do have the ability to Google a town-wide sale. You have the ability to spend $20 on gas, and you have the ability to rip a man's face off. And I use that as like slang for like negotiate well. Gary, what's wrong with you? That, that you're gonna rip, what? Gary, Gary, Gary. Gary, why are you like this, huh? Why are you like this, Gary? You just threatened this man behind his back. What are you proving? What are, what, are, what is that proof? I could've, listen, I could've beat the crap out of that guy. I could've, I could've totally ripped his face off. Listen, this guy wants a hundred dollars for a stupid little car that him and his dad built. I could get it for three dollars, okay? I could get it for three dollars, you hear me? Three, okay? This little idiot doesn't know anything about his stupid little car. And then I'm gonna put it on eBay and make five hundred dollars off of it, okay? You can do it, Gary. Go buy that car, put it on eBay, make five hundred dollars off it. Show us, show us, Gary. Go flip that, that crappy little car that he built with his dad for $500. Show us. I would like to see it. Gary, I would, I would like to see it, Gary, okay? Prove it. Prove it. Just paid a dollar for the Toy Story dude. Let's see. You know who this is, right? Yeah, the Toy Story dude. <laughs> yep. How much? 18. Wow. Gary, that, that's not even the same one. That's a, that's a different toy. That's a different Rex from Toy Story toy. The one you have is probably like three dollars. You just lied to your audience. You're just lying now. I can't believe you, Gary. How could you deceive us like this? Ooh. Have a great day. How has he been to 38 garage sales in one day? What neighborhood is this that has 38 garage sales in one day? I've never even seen more than like two garage sales ever in my life. How far are you driving, Gary? <laughs> oh my gosh, 38? That is redonkulous, dude. Life is good mug. Can't find it exactly, but let's call this an easy 10 spot. This is what I'm seeing. Next, Denny's. You're not Gary, my boy, you can't keep doing this. He said he couldn't find the exact mug, so he decided, you know what? I'm just gonna call it $10. He's... <laughs> That's not the right numbers, Gary. You're just making stuff up. His final yard sale counter was he showed up at 40 yard sales in one day. Yikes, that's gotta be a lot of money, but you know, man's on his grind. That's basically it for the video. That's about all we can learn from Gary. I guess I learned that technically, if you rip someone's face off, then you can make a little bit more money than minimum wage. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you haven't already subscribed and smash like, if you made it this far and didn't smash like, I'll smash you. Grr. Thanks for coming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye, see ya. See you later. Okay, goodbye.